Now, I get to exercise one of the perks of being Secretary of State, and that is to welcome the next speaker, a tireless partner in this effort, someone whose work has shined a bright light on the struggles facing the people of Eastern Congo, particularly women and children. When I visited uh, there in 2009, I saw firsthand how the Eastern Congo Initiative is supporting civil society groups to meet some of the biggest challenges in that country. I've known uh, this uh, young man uh, for a long time, and I have watched him uh, start his own family with three beautiful children and a wife who makes it all work. I have enjoyed him in person, I've enjoyed him on the screen, but I particularly admire his commitment. Please help me welcome the Eastern Congo Initiative's founder, Ben Affleck. what they call in Hollywood a tough act to follow. Um, I want to thank uh, the secretary, uh, who is, in my estimation, one of the great secretaries of state ever to serve our country. I would probably be too humble to make that statement, except that I know it's uh, agreed with by a great majority of Americans. She is the kind of tireless public servant, the extraordinarily intelligent, diligent, fair, um, spectacular person that makes me even more proud to be an American. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary. <clears throat> um, it, 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 uh, I'm a, I hope you guys don't notice that these are teleprompters, but I have to. <laughs> Secretary and I are slightly different heights. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, thank you all <laughs> for coming uh, uh, to this important gathering, and it, it truly, really is an honor to be here. Um, I don't say this very often in Hollywood, but here it's, it, there is no doubt that I am uh, the least accomplished person in the room. Uh, so thank you very, very much for, for tolerating um, my speaking to you here. It's, it, really is, it really is an honor, and I want to thank... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Administrator Raj Shah as well uh, as so many other inspiring world leaders. Uh, you know, it's, it's a particular pleasure, pleasure to welcome friends from a country that I care about very deeply, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, Dr. Joe Lucy is here. Uh, there, there's Dr. Lucy, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, uh, an extraordinary man who I've spent a lot of time with, who is one of the great, amazing legends of the world. He's an incredible man. You can go find his 60 Minutes episode, uh, and it's, it'll tell you a lot about him. Dr. Uh, Dennis McQuaggy. Uh, are you here, Doc? Yeah. Mm. There he is. Uh, Dr. Therese uh, Mambo is it's also a, a place. Where are you, Dr. T there you go, Mambo. There you go. There you, that, now is the time you spent. Mm. And it's also a pleasure to be here with the new Minister of Health from DRC, uh, Felix Kabange. Uh, he was sitting next to me listening in French, so I know. Was... <laughs> Thank you for making the long trip to Congo. It is about, a, at best, a 24-hour uh, uh, flight, and I really appreciate it. And thank you for lending your support to this important effort and for all you do for kids uh, and families in Congo. We're here today because we believe that our collective voices and actions uh, can help children around the world live long and healthy lives. For the past six years, I've had the great pleasure to visit Congo many, many times. Uh, I've visited fast-paced Kinshasa, the LRA-dominated uh, Dungu, uh, and been all over the, the Kivu provinces where our Eastern Congo Initiative uh, is, is, is located. And everywhere I've been, I've seen extraordinary efforts by the Congolese to usher in a brighter future <clears throat> for their country. Uh, 
the Congolese must lead in this effort. We firmly believe that. We believe that our role is there to support the Congolese and support community-based organizations. Uh, but we believe all of us can help support them, and that's really why, why we're here today. At the Eastern Congo Initiative, we believe that lasting, long-term success happens when the, when the Congolese lead and develop solutions that work for their own communities. Uh, for ECI, that means focusing all of our efforts on highlighting and investing in Congolese-led initiatives, whether it's a program to help former child soldiers reintegrate into society, teach women how to plant, grow, market, and export sustainably grown uh, cacao and coffee, uh, or support maternal and child health projects in remote, remote areas. ECI is driven by the Congolese and their resilience and determination on the path toward progress. It's an inspiring thing to see, and it's an inspiring thing to, to be a part of. I, for example, I look at Dr. Lucy, who founded Heal Africa <clears throat> with his wife, Lynn Lucy, uh, who we lost uh, earlier this year to cancer. Uh, we all miss her, her activist spirit and her commitment to the health of Congolese mothers. Um, uh, Heal Africa is a, a community health organization providing a variety of services ranging from a 155-bed hospital that performs general surgery sur uh, serving the pediatric community uh, to doctor training, to providing safe houses for the victims of violence, to offering critical programs focused on health education and improved health outcomes. Heal Africa is a great example uh, of what can be done when Congolese lead the charge. Thank you, Dr. Joe, wherever you are. Thank you again there. <laughs> I'm pleased that Dr. Dennis McQuaggie uh, from the Pansy Hospital is here today for this call to action. Pansy Hospital's uh, fistula campaign has not only saved countless women from the stigma and the, the chronic pain and sometimes death associated with fistulas, but it's also been instrumental in, in reframing the uh, society's understanding of this issue. At one time in Congo, fistulas were thought of as, a, as an affliction of sexual violence, essentially. Now, uh, through the education efforts of Pansy and others, fistulas are largely recognized as preventable uh, with improved maternal care and by ensuring those who, who help deliver babies and, and giving them simple tools and knowledge that can help a baby enter the world safely and can help their mother recover healthily, uh, the tide is turning on these debilitating injuries. And that is uh, not only due to this man, but in large measure due to Dr. McQuaig. I just want to thank you again, Dr. Mm. I'm also grateful that Dr. Mambo from Kinshasa is here with us today. Dr. Mambo is a professor and head of the Maternal and Child Health Department at the University of Kinshasa, teaching a new generation of medical professionals. These leaders are remarkable and, and are creating effective solutions to critical challenges. Uh, it was through their work that I met Fida. Fida is a, a mother of eight children, uh, two deceased, a girl at birth and a boy at two years old. Uh, she lives in a village called Minova on the picturesque shores of, of Lake Kivu. Vida is part of the Safe Motherhood program at Heal Africa uh, and, and leads a maternal insurance savings group in her village. Her group of 10 women received a micro grant to invest in uh, their small businesses and fields. Every month, each woman saves what they can contribute to the group's collective fund. The fund is used as an insurance to pay for maternal health. <clears throat> And neonatal health checkups and, uh, and, and safe delivery at a health center, which these rural women could not uh, otherwise afford. The group paid for all of Fida's health care, and during her last two pregnancies, and her children are happy and healthy today. Fida is a remarkable leader and an entrepreneur in her community. She has started 10 other women's savings groups and is teaching couples about nutrition and family planning. And this is the kind of example that I'm talking about, Congolese people taking the lead, taking charge of those, their own communities and making extraordinary and, and dynamic difference. Heal Africa play a pivotal role in ensuring the health of Fida and her children. However, there are other core challenges <clears throat> in the Congo that rob children of their futures. It goes without saying, Fida can have no assurance of her children's health uh, and safety in the midst of the ongoing violence and instability. In the eastern region of Congo, violence is increasing with, e increasing with each passing day. Recent numbers show that the current surge in violence has displaced nearly 40,000 people in just a few months. Instability already undermines efforts to deliver basic health services to Congolese communities. A healthy community cannot exist within a broken security sector. We hope the U.S. will assert leadership and encourage a stronger security sector resulting in a safer society for Congolese families. 
World Bank economists reported <clears throat> that child mortality rates for children under five are swiftly declining across the continent of Africa. This is thrilling. Senegal, Rwanda, and Kenya are experiencing drops in child mortality of more than 8% a year. If sustained, this, this will uh, t uh, wipe out child mortality in each country in half in roughly 10 years. Overall mortality rates in most countries, regardless of size, uh, uh, religion, or geography, are dropping twice as fast now as any time during the past two decades. However, in celebrating this benchmark, we can't forget that this victory is just one step in a tall ladder. And in some cases, our foot is still on the bottom rung. In the Congo, the numbers are still grim. With just 1% of the global population, Congo represents over 6% of the global mortality rate for children under five. According to USAID, 148 out of 1,000 DRC children will not reach their fifth birthday, nearly 15%. This is the fifth highest under five mortality rate in the world. Congo is one of only a small handful of countries in which the number of under five mortalities has actually increased since 1990, from roughly 300,000 to over 460,000 a year. Now, how about some good news? Potential for change in the Congo is abundant. Uh, the IMF projects that the DRC will be among 10 of the world's fastest growing economies, growing at a rate of roughly 6% a year until 2015. 90% of Congo's arable land remains uncultivated. Once the breadbasket of Africa, this virtually untapped resource could return and transform the lives of millions of children and countless communities in Central Africa. The potential in Congo is clear. For the first time in history, we have the means and knowledge to end unnecessary child deaths in the DRC and globally. Much of the time, saving a child's life is as simple as ensuring kids sleep under bed nets uh, uh, to help avoid malaria, and they receive nutritional supplements, and that they have immediate access to health care. This could save millions of lives a year alone and would cost less than $30 a child. I am honored that Eastern, the Eastern Congo Initiative was asked to participate in the Advisory Council on Child Survival. We are pleased to have helped bring together Congolese stakeholders from the government, civil society, uh, the faith-based community, and the health practitioner sector, and NGOs working on the ground, so that we together can turn the tide on child mortality. I am pleased that Eastern Congo Initiative is a member of the council, along with Dr. Lucy, Dr. McQuaige, Dr. Mambo, and other members of the healthcare, civil society, and religious communities. These diverse voices will work with the central, provincial, and local governments of Congo and with health stakeholders to contribute to a national strategy aimed at reducing child mortality and increasing positive health outcomes for women and children, including improved health education and nutrition programs. As part of ECI's commitment to help the Council develop Congolese solutions to this challenge, we're pleased to announce the completion of an online searchable database of community-based organizations doing important and impactful work in Eastern Congo. This rigorous landscape analysis, developed in collaboration with USAID, identifies Congolese-led organizations that are improving outcomes in their communities. With sincere thanks to uh, Maura O'Neill and the IDEA team at USAID for their work to make this important work a reality, so thank you guys as well. As Americans, I believe our actions define our values. <clears throat> I have three children that fall into this vulnerable age range. I cannot imagine what it would have been like driving my wife to the hospital, pregnant, about to give birth, and thinking to myself, well, there's a 15% chance that each one of these children won't live to be five years old. It's abhorrent. It's unacceptable. We wouldn't abide it in this country, and we must not abide it in the world globally with our brothers and sisters. It is morally incumbent on us to work to eradicate this problem and stay with it uh, until our work is done. I want to thank you all very, very much uh, for the honor of speaking here today. It is now my extraordinary honor to introduce the new Minister of Health from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Dr. Felix Kabange. Come on up. Sir. <laughs> Thank you. Madame uh, la secrétaire d'État des États-Unis, 
Mr. Secretary of State of the United States. Madame uh, Margaret Chan, uh, directrice de l'OMS. Mrs. Margaret Ch Chan, uh, director of the World Health Organization. Monsieur Rad Radif Cha, administrateur de l'USAID. Mr. Radif Cha, head of uh, USAID. Uh, Monsieur les ministres de la Santé de l'Éthiopie et de l'Inde. Ministers of Health of Ethiopia and India. Messieurs les ministres de la Santé, chers collègues. Ministers of Health and dear colleagues. Distingués invités. Distinguished guests. Ce n'est pas très facile de prendre la parole après un homme très populaire comme Ben Affleck. It's not very easy to follow up on a very popular gentleman such as Ben Affleck. Mais je tiens à le remercier sincèrement. However, I'd like to extend my most sincere thanks to him. Pour l'image positive de la RDC qu'il a eu à présenter. For the positive image of DRC that he presented. Parce que c'est vrai. Dans mon pays, il y a des choses positives qu'il faut capitaliser. Because it is true, in my country, there are positive things that should be mentioned. Je remercie les organisateurs de ce forum. I'd like to thank the organizers of this forum. Et les États-Unis d'avoir pensé à inviter la RDC pour venir à cette tribune. And the United States for having invited DRC to participate in this forum. Mon intervention va s'articuler sur trois points importants. I will discuss three important points in my presentation. Premièrement, la situation de la RDC, la situation actuelle ou l'état des lieux. First of all, the situation, uh, the status of uh, DRC. Deuxièmement, les défis à relever. Second, the challenges to be met. Troisièmement, les opportunités à saisir ainsi que les engagements du gouvernement de la RDC dans le secteur de la santé. And third, the opportunities and uh, the, to be seized in uh, the health uh, sector. Je terminerai par uh, une petite conclusion. And I shall end with a brief conclusion. Avant de passer à l'état des lieux, before I speak of uh, the status, parce que c'est vrai que les critères ou les indicateurs que nous allons donner sur la RDC, ce sont des indicateurs qui sont au rouge. And uh, the criteria that we'll give you, uh, the indicators are in the red zone. Mais permettez-moi de continuer sur la lancée de Ben Affleck. But allow me to follow in the footsteps of Ben Affleck. En commençant par quelque chose de très positif sur la RDC. By starting uh, discussing something very positive about DRC. Le dernier cas de poliovirus sauvage a été déclaré dans mon pays le 20 décembre 2011. Uh, the situation of uh, the polio virus uh, was uh, declared in uh, December 2011. La même période, Last year, at the same period, of la RDC avait déjà déclaré plus de 43 cas de polio. We had registered in DRC over 43 cases of polio. Mais pour ce premier semestre 2012, but for the first semester 2012, aucun cas de poliovirus sauvage n'a été notifié en République démocratique du Congo. We've uh, noted no uh, polio virus uh, starting the first semester 2012 in my Et country. Et nous pensons que cette situation va continuer pour que nous puissions éradiquer la polio en République démocratique du Congo. And we believe that we will be able to eradicate uh, the polio virus in uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Parlons à présent de l'état de lieu ou de la situation actuelle en RDC. Let's discuss now the situation of uh, things in DRC. Mon pays, c'est le plus grand pays que vous retrouvez au centre de l'Afrique. My country is the largest country in the, the central part of Africa. Et je vais juste vous parler des chiffres. And let me give you some uh, numbers. Mon pays est organisé en districts médicaux, il y en a 515 au total. We have, uh, we organize in, uh, in uh, medical districts, uh, there are 515 altogether. 238 sont uh, appuyés. Pardon. 238 reçoivent un appui uh, total pour son fonctionnement. And two, th 238 of these districts uh, receive uh, support. Nous avons 422 hôpitaux de niveau primaire, mais il y a encore 125 districts médicaux qui n'ont pas d'hôpitaux primaires. Uh, 400, we have 422 primary hospitals, but there are still 125 districts that do not have such hospitals. Sur un besoin de 8504 centres de santé, uh, out of 8504 uh, medical uh, health centers, 1546 seulement ont été construits en matériaux durables. Uh, only uh, 1546 were, have been built so far. 
Les indicateurs suivants sont à noter. Le taux de mortalité est à 97 pour 1000 naissances. Uh, and uh, a few numbers now. Uh, the mortality rate is 97 per 1000 uh, births. Pour les enfants de moins de 12 euh, de, de, de ans, c'est-à-dire 29 décès par heure. So th these are for children that are less than one year old. Pour la mortalité des enfants de inférieur à 5 ans, c'est 158 pour 1000 naissances, soit 232 décès par heure. So for children that are less than five years old, we're talking 150 per thousand, uh, and that represents 230 uh, deaths per hour. Soit environ 4 décès par minute. Si je, je parle ici depuis 2 minutes, ça fait 8 enfants qui viennent de mourir. In other words, this is 4 deaths per minute. Uh, since I've been talking here, 8 uh, children have died. 559 pour 1000, c'est le taux de mortalité pour les femmes. And 559 per 1000, that's uh, the death rate for women. Et une enquête indépendante vient de présenter un chiffre d'environ 2,4 millions d'enfants à travers le monde qui n'ont jamais eu droit au vaccin et la RDC a une grande part avec 640 000. Et une enquête indépendante a DRC, nous parlons Grâce à Gavi Alliance, à l'UNICEF et à d'autres partenaires, nous avons fait des efforts dans la couverture vaccinale, mais elle reste faible et des efforts sont encore à entreprendre. Thanks to uh, UNICEF, Agadion, uh, we've uh, increased our vaccine rate, but it is still insufficient. Les campagnes de récupération sont organisées euh, contre la rougeole. And uh, we have uh, uh, campaigns now organized to fight uh, measles. La malnutrition est en croissance dans mon pays. Malnutrition is on the rise in my country. Mais le gouvernement compte investir dans l'agriculture parce que la RDC a plus de 80 millions d'hectares de terres fertiles. But our government intends to invest heavily in our agriculture because we have 80 million uh, uh, hectares of uh, arable land. Parmi les pathologies ou les maladies qui tuent le plus les enfants dans mon pays, il y a en premier la pneumonie et les maladies respiratoires qui représentent environ 19%. Uh, amongst uh, the diseases that are most responsible for child mortality, you have uh, pneumonia and other respiratory diseases which represent 19%. C'est pourquoi je salue l'introduction du vaccin contre la pneumonie en RDC. That's why I welcome uh, the introduction of uh, the anti-pneumonia vaccine in DRC. Le paludisme représente environ 18%. Malaria représente another 18%. Et aujourd'hui, avec l'aide des États-Unis, nous faisons des grandes campagnes de masse de distribution de moustiquaires imprégnés. And uh, thanks to uh, the help uh, from the United States, uh, we are waging a campaign uh, to have uh, nets uh, to counter this scourge. Et la troisième cause, ce sont les diarrhées avec plus de 13%, et ceci est lié beaucoup plus à l'inaccessibilité à l'eau potable. And uh, diarrhea represents another 13%, why a lack of accessibility to drinkable water. Quels sont les défis à relever What are the challenges we have to meet Le plus grand défi au niveau de la RDC est celui d'accélérer la réduction de la mortalité infantile et maternelle. Uh, first of all, we should strive to reduce the numbers of uh, children and um, mothers' deaths. À 148 décès pour 1000 naissances, nous avons l'obligation avant 2015 de réduire cette mortalité en dessous de trois chiffres, c'est-à-dire en dessous de 100. Mais l'idéal serait d'ici 2015 de pouvoir réduire de moitié cette mortalité. So uh, right now we're talking 148 uh, deaths per thousand. By 2015, we strive to get below the three digits. Uh, in other words, uh, below below 100. But we want to do even more than that. Cela implique des ressources supplémentaires. This uh, means that we need extra resources. Comme je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, sur les 515 euh, districts médicaux, il n'y en a que 238 qui sont pris en charge. Nous devons étendre la prise en charge correcte sur l'ensemble de ces 515 districts médicaux. As I said earlier, we have 515 medical districts 
and uh, 400, only 438 of them um, receive uh, the, the, the proper uh, support. So we should strive to uh, have all 515 uh, fully uh, functionable. Réhabiliter et construire des nouvelles infrastructures. We have to restore and build new infrastructure. Doter ces structures sanitaires en équipement aussi bien matériel de diagnostic que de prise en charge. And we have to uh, increase uh, the diagnostic uh, support, uh, material support, and uh, general support. Et faciliter l'accès aux médicaments essentiels. And uh, get uh, people to have greater access uh, to essential medication. Nous avons également d'autres défis, notamment d'augmenter la couverture vaccinale. We have other challenges. We want to get a lot more people vaccinated. Et pour cela, mon pays a mis en œuvre un plan de revitalisation du programme de vaccination systématique. And my country is implementing a program to revitalize systematic vaccination. Parce que nous pensons que avec ce le renforcement de la vaccination systématique, nous pouvons soutenir le programme de rééducation de la du virus de la polio en RDC. And we believe that through this uh, increased vaccination program, we can fully eradicate the polio virus in DRC. Et Ben Affleck l'a dit tout à l'heure, nous devons également, le gouvernement est en train de mettre tout en œuvre pour assurer la sécurité à l'est de la République démocratique du Congo pour que cesse la guerre et nous avons besoin de l'appui des États-Unis ainsi que tous les pays du Conseil de sécurité pour nous accompagner. And as uh, Ben Affleck uh, mentioned earlier, we need to uh, uh, beef up uh, security in eastern Congo so as to put an end to the war uh, there. And uh, we need uh, the support uh, for that uh, of the United States and other countries. La population est à plus de 80% pauvre. Voilà pourquoi nous avons le défi de mettre en œuvre un système d'assurance maladie ainsi qu'un système de mutuelle de santé. And 80% of our people are in uh, poverty. That is why we need uh, greater uh, universal health coverage and uh, health insurance. L'autre grand défi, c'est de pouvoir augmenter le budget alloué au secteur de la santé. We, another challenge is to increase uh, the health budget. Et d'amener les communautés à s'impliquer davantage dans la vaccination et la promotion des soins de la mère et de l'enfant. And uh, communities should get uh, further involved in vaccination and uh, tackling health issues related to uh, children and mothers. Quelles sont les opportunités que nous devons capitaliser en RDC? What are the opportunities on which we should capitalize in DRC? La démocratie. Democracy. Nous avons un plan national de développement sanitaire. We have a national health development plan. Et nous avons l'existence des cadres qualifiés que nous devons euh, repartir sur l'ensemble du pays. And we have uh, these uh, uh, qualified personnel that we should uh, disseminate uh, throughout uh, the country. Le gouvernement de la RDC s'engage. The DRC government is committed. Un, à augmenter le budget et pour cette année, il y a 10 ans que le budget était à 1.2 pour la RDC, mais cette année nous sommes à 7% du budget national. Uh, so, number one, increase uh, uh, the, the budget uh, for, for health. Uh, we were at 1.2, but this year we've uh, uh, gone up to 7%. Deuxièmement, à payer les contreparties dans tous les financements au niveau de notre secteur. And uh, we have to pay our counterparts uh, to fund uh, uh, the sector through and through. Troisièmement, à garantir la bonne gouvernance. Three, guarantee good governance. Quatrièmement, nous avons un programme qui a été adopté avec une feuille de route pour les cinq prochaines années. We want to for, uh, adopt a program and a, a roadmap for the uh, five uh, upcoming years. Le gouvernement réaffirme sa volonté d'éradiquer la polio et d'assurer la coordination de tous les intervenants qui sont en République démocratique du Congo. So we are committed to eradicate polio and to coordinate all the different entities involved in this process. Je vais conclure en réaffirmant la détermination du gouvernement de la RDC. I'll conclude by reasserting uh, the commitment à accélérer of the la réduction RC. de la mortalité des enfants. We want to reduce child mortality. Et nous allons présenter un plan 
avec chronogramme et chiffré qui comprendra également les détails sur l'amélioration de la santé de la mère parce qu'elle est toujours liée à celle des enfants ainsi que la planification familiale. And we want to um, uh, follow up on a calendar and uh, focusing on uh, the health of the mother because uh, uh, the latter is so intimately linked to uh, children's health. Je termine en disant que c'est possible. In uh, conclusion, I'll say that it is possible. Je sais que le président Obama l'a dit et je sais aussi que c'est possible pour mon pays. I know that uh, Obama, President Obama said, yes we can and I think that yes we can also where my country is concerned.